Hey champions, welcome back. This is Izu back again with another helpful video for your financial wellness and financial success. So today we're going to be talking about a brand new credit card. This new credit card bases your credit limit on your income and not your credit score. So who is behind this new credit card? This credit card has some backing from former Twitter executives and former PayPal co-founder Max Lefchain. Max Lefchain is also one of the co-founders of Thrive Cash, a company that provides loans to students. This new credit card is one of those cards that prides itself in being exceptional and try to apply the smart technology to rival some of the credit cards out there like the Apple credit card. So this card is the X1 Visa card and it will be unveiled in the winter of 2020. So here in the next few months, you're gonna be able to hold this card in your hands if you do get approved for one. And right now, there's over 25,000 people on the waiting list to get this card. It does sound like the X1 card will be unlike any other card you've ever seen before. Okay, let's jump right onto my computer and I'll show you everything about this card. As you can see on my screen, I'm right on the website, the x1creditcard.com website. And right off the bat, it tells you the smartest credit card ever made, designed for a new generation of card holders. And it looks really sleek. That's a really sleek design. And it has this metallic uh, feel and the metallic look. Actually, it's made of silver. So yeah, there we go. It says it's made of 17 grams of pure stainless steel, not silver. So pure stainless steel, which is a mix of you know, other metals. But anyways, and this card looks really sleek. I like the design. It has that stainless steel, that rich, unique appeal. Um, let me know what you think about the design in the comment section below. Then right here, you can see that the points on every purchase is could go up to four times. And we're gonna go into the points here shortly and you could get higher limits. Then the other cool thing about this card is that it has zero annual fees. So zero dollars in annual fees. They don't charge you any fees like other cards out there. So this is a great feature and a great reason to get this card. Okay, let's explore some other options. It says the X1 card is built from the ground up to transform how you shop and spend. And the other cool thing about this card, this is one thing that I think might make me get this card. I haven't joined the waiting list yet, and I'm gonna join this after, right after this video. But here, it says you can cancel subscription payments in one click. So how many times have you signed up for subscription services that you never use? Like say one of those services that ask you to, hey, join in and you you can cancel in 14 days or 30 days and then you end up being stuck with these services for a long time and forget to cancel so with this credit card you can cancel subscription services with one click so that's the smart thing about this credit card this credit card has the ability to go in and cancel all your subscriptions and then the other cool thing about it is that you can create virtual cards for one-time use and what does what does this mean so let's say you want to sign up for an online service or for a streaming service that has a 30-day or 14-day free trial then they need you to put in a credit card number so with this x1 card you can go in and create a virtual a temporary credit card number so you can generate a temporary card number that you use for that free trial for that subscription service then what happens is at the end of the 14 day or 30 day free trial period once those people try to come in and bill you for the next service the card gets declined because you created that for a 14 day or 30 day trial period so that's the thing about this very card you can create virtual one-time use cards and uh you can get notifications on refunds so that's a cool thing too and then you can attach receipts to purchases that's another cool feature and like i said before you end free trials automatically with auto expiring virtual cards so that's the cool thing about this card so far and i think that right there says the card so you can see the x1 card offers up to five times higher than traditional cards so higher credit limits mean you can spend the same amount lower utilization which can boost your credit score We've talked about credit utilization on this channel before. So basically, your credit utilization is a very important factor, a very important metric in determining your credit score. It accounts for almost 30% of your credit score. So your credit limit is based on your current and future income. 
and then you get up to five times higher credit limit that's impressive and you also have an increase automatically so you don't have to call the card the credit card company and ask for them to increase your credit limit this card this smart card does that automatically so here's the deal with the point system so it does pride itself again in unparalleled rewards for every single purchase and you always earn twice uh, the points on every dollar spent. So this seems pretty traditional, right? So there's there's some cards out there that will give you two times, which is impressive. So they give you, they start you out with two times uh, points on every dollar you spend. So that means if you spend a dollar, you get two points. So that's very good. Um, then if you spend $15,000 in a year or over $15,000 in a year, you get three points on every dollar you spend that year. This is impressive as well. So if you invite a friend and they get the card you can get four times the points for each friend you ask to join and right here it says you can earn unlimited points so there's no limit to the number of points you can earn and then the points never expire that's another great thing about this because some credit cards you see the points expire maybe on a yearly basis but with this one the points never expire you can always redeem the points and have the points in your account in case you're not ready to use them so that's a great thing so let's quickly see how many points you earn they've got a nice gauge here that tells you how many points you earn based on your annual spend you get two times the points based on just spending less than fifteen thousand dollars like we mentioned before and then if you spend ten thousand dollars in a year you earn twenty thousand points which is worth at least two hundred dollars so two hundred dollars is just twice for every dollar you spend. So next thing here, we have $15,000. So if you spend up to $15,000, you get 45,000 points in a year, which is worth at least $450. Then again, if you spend $20,000, you get at least uh, $600, which is 60,000 points. And $20,000, three times the points. That's pretty good. Then right here, you have $25,000. You still get three times the points, which is uh, 75,000 points. And you have uh, $750 at a minimum. So that's the dollar value of the points that you get. Then up next, we have $30,000. So if you spend $30,000, you still get three times the points, which is 90,000 points. And you earn at least $900 with $30,000 spent in a year using the X1 card. So last but not the least on here, you do have 35,000 points, which still gives you three times the point. So you earn at least 1050 using this X1 card. To be clear, right now, they are not offering cash back rewards, but you could basically redeem the points at multiple uh, places. And here are some of the options on where you can redeem the card. So the points. So you have the Airbnb option. For those of you who like to travel and stay in Airbnbs, you can redeem those points with your Airbnb. And there's some airlines here. We do have Alaska. Uh, we do have Delta and JetBlue. So there are some options as to how you can redeem your points if you love to travel so they also have some other hotels as we can see on here and you could do that on etsy if you like etsy and if you're an apple user you could redeem your points on apple store and you also have some other shoe brands there like adidas or clothing brand then you have the uh if you love some good headphones you have the beats and you know there's so many options here as you can see and who knows if they'll add on some more uh options for you to redeem your points with but so here are some of the places where you can redeem your points so they say you get 12.9 to 19.9 variable apr so again they are saying the lowest apr range in class again that's for those who want to carry uh balances on this card and then you have two percent transfer fees so balance transfer fees again they are saying the lowest balance transfer fee in class Apparently, they put this card in a very slick black box and I guess this will make it fun for you to unbox it once you get the card. The other cool thing about this very credit card is that when you drop it, say on a restaurant table or when you go out and you drop it at the cashier's uh, table, it makes a sound. And the sound that it makes is a sound that's unlike any other credit card out there. It makes this metal sounding card and just listen to the sound. 
So now that you know the features of this card and you've seen what the card looks like and what to expect with the X1 credit card, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this card? Does this sound like something you'll be getting? As far as I'm concerned, the one-time virtual credit card feature is one of the things that I like about this card and the fact that you can cancel all your subscriptions with one click instead of you forgetting and getting charged for all these free trials that we do sign up for. I think that's a feature that sold me on this card. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you think you're gonna get this card or not before you leave be sure to give this video a thumbs up to help other people find this video quicker and if you have not subscribed take care of that right now hit the subscribe button keep winning and see you in the next video thank you for watching